PTE listening right from dictation it's not a difficult task yeah you can quote me anywhere hi and welcome back again to my youtube channel Julia here from English prep class it's good to have you back welcome to my channel and all I do here is bring you up to speed all I do here is share tips tricks and strategies on how you can nail your piercing test of English have you been struggling to get a high score in the PTE speaking or PTE writing precisely or PTE listening even then I've got this task I want to talk about today it's called write from dictation now this is the last task in the entire exam and the thing is this task is so important but it's the last task in the exam so if you do not manage your time the way you should manage it you may not get up to this task or even if you get to this task without having managed your time very well maybe by spending time on tasks that are not so relevant then you may not finish this task there are about three to four of this kind of task on your test day and sometimes people do one sometimes people do two and then they see time up or sometimes people actually finish this task but they will not have written the sentence as it should be done welcome back to my youtube channel it's good to have you if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please hit the subscribe button and always remember to give this video a thumbs up because it will get to more people that need this video do you know that a lot of people watch my video and they give me feedback maybe on instagram oh i found your video on youtube and i've been watching it please like please comment please give it a thumbs up thank you so much now let's get straight into the matter at hand. from dictation is a very essential task in the piercing test of English it's almost like the most important task in the piercing test of English and sometimes people say it's difficult right from dictation is actually not a difficult task um, what is expected of you is for you to listen to the audio and be able to write out the sentence the audio says okay so basically it's a very important task because it's going to be impacting your writing score and your listening score the right from dictation will add over 40 marks to your writing and over 30 marks to your listening so that is why it's very important it's not adding 10 marks it's adding over over 40 marks to writing over 30 marks to listening you have to take it seriously you have to listen to the sentence you have to you should be able to type out the sentence as you hear it now we're going to go over to the website www.englishpreplus.com.au and have a look at the um, examples or have a look at the task and um, see how it's been scored and what we can do so we can pass it right from dictation let's go there here we are on englishpreplus.com.au website so the website is www.englishpreplus.com.au all right so you hop on you sign up and then you should be able to assess the practice questions because i said it's free and there are some other there are some videos uh, from youtube attached to the website you can also watch them for you to have better understanding of each task of or each module that you you are interested in all right let's go let's get started so you can see here the different the modules of speaking writing reading and listening okay and you can see here um, the questions now there are heaps of questions here as you can see I think over 100 questions um, we are still adding questions so here we have over 100 questions and let's look at we are focusing on right from dictation remember so when you go to listening you can click on any of the tasks or any of the questions you want to practice and you should be able to practice them okay so we're looking at right from dictation let's look at the instruction first of all because a wise person once said instructions will simplify your life you will hear a sentence type the sentence in the box below exactly as you hear it write as much of the sentence as you can you will hear the sentence only once so that's the instruction okay the sentence will be um, said only once and all you need to do is write it out here don't forget that you'll be given an erasable notepad in the exam and a pen or two pen or two ink whatever they call them so basically you're supposed to like scribble down what the sentence is on your jotter and then transfer it back into this blank however you can decide to type straight up here in this empty blank or in this empty box here what the sentence you hear would say okay so there's no hard rule either you write out on the erasable notepad and transfer it in here or you decide to type it out here straight up any one that works for you but don't do this only on exam day what i mean is try to practice it out 
first of all, on your own, in your spare time, what works for you. If writing down first on a notepad before transferring into the blank, if that would be cool for you, or you want to type it straight into the blank, you find out for yourself what works for you. Okay, so the instruction, let's look at it again. It says, write as much of the sentence as you can hear. That means that you, for them to give you, for them to say this and say it as in one of the instructions, that means that um, the words will be counted. They said, write as much of the sentence as you can. Remember, words make up that sentence. So let's say if they say the audio was too loud for him, he had a meltdown. So each of those words, the audio was too loud for him. Each of those words will be marked. Okay, so that is simply what this word is. Write as much of the sentence as you can. Sorry for the background noise, okay? Write as much of the sentence as you can. So that's why you need to listen. Remember, you're being assessed for your listening skills. Now let's play this one and I should be able to write it out here and then you see the way it's done. And we can also check the answer. All right. I will come back as soon as possible. So I was able to type straight up in the blank. Remember in this exam, you do not have the luxury of um, the computer trying to highlight it in red for you when you start with small letter. Remember the instruction said, um, you will hear a sentence, okay? So if instruction has said that, that means is a sentence, right? So a sentence must start with a capital letter and there should be a full stop at the end of it. All right, so I intentionally started this with a capital letter. The computer, the PC computer is not set up like your home computer. So you have to intentionally start up the sentence with a capital letter and you put a full stop at the end. All right, now let's see if we can check the answer and see if I got it. Submit for AI scoring, check answer, submit for AI scoring. And you can see that I got it all, eight over eight. Okay, so you get one mark for each correctly spelled word. All right, so that way you can see you're very clear. So you can actually practice with this website and should be able to get the score that you need. All right, let's try out another um, question here. Just try out questions as much as you can on the website. Experts okay. argue that there are various treatments available for this condition. Alright, experts argue that there are various treatments. I'm going to put an S here. But if you're not sure that you heard treatment or treatments, you can just leave this as treatment. You can put treatment, comma, treatments available for the condition. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm not so sure if I heard his condition or the condition. Alright, so let's just submit this. So I started that and I'm going to put a full stop here. Um, yeah, so experts argue that there, there, that there are various treatments, treatments available for the condition. Now you can see here, I know you may be tempted to do this. There are, that's contractions. This, this is not allowed. This is an English exam. You have to write out everything in full. That way you should be able to get your score. Now let's go check the answer. Okay, check answer. Let me see if, if your girl got all, um, yeah. This is my website doesn't mean I've done. Look, I've missed one word here and it's this. So yeah, I've missed one word. I missed this word, this. Okay, uh, let's see the answer. Experts argue that there are various treatments available for this condition. And um, what did I write? Um, okay, let's go back for this condition. And I had written, experts argue that there are various, various treatments available for the condition. So instead of this, I wrote the, so that was why I missed out one. So you see, if, we, if this was a real exam, I would have missed out one full word, which was not necessary. Without distraction, you should be able to get the answer of this. You can see how easy it is. So the whole idea is for you to be able to hear what the audio is saying and your ability to write out each of the word that make up the sentence. That way you should be able to get it. Remember that this task is very important because it's going to be adding scores to both your writing and your listening. You have to take it seriously. Maybe you will take another one, just another one, and then you see how it is done. The excursion will go ahead on Thursday as planned.
So I know that this is a proper noun, so it's not going to start with small letter T. The excursion will go ahead on Thursday as planned. All right, so I'm going to be submitting this for marking and let's see what the score is going to be. Yeah, so you see, great score. I was able to get it. So this is it. Even if the sentence is long, you should be able to do like some abbreviations on your erasable notepad or on here, then try to flesh it out. Now, I may be a bit slow trying to write out the sentence because I'm also talking, trying to explain while I'm trying to type out at the same time. So the best thing to do here is for you to pay utmost attention, okay? Because the answers are actually there. If, you're, if you pay attention, you should be able to get the answers. So that's how this is done. Now, leave in the comment section. If you find this task difficult, leave in the comment section any question you have and yours truly will respond to you. Now, you see me for yourself that it's not difficult. You need to listen because that is what you're assessed for. If you're able to listen and you're able to uh, write out the sentence as you hear it or as you heard it, that way you should be able to get all the scores for the question. Like I said earlier, because you are scored per word, that means for every right word you get, the every right word of the sentence that you get, you get a score for it. So if you're able to listen very attentively and able to write out the words just as you have heard them in the sentence, you should be able to get a high score. Too easy, right? Yeah. Now, if you're new here, remember to subscribe, remember to like, and you can find me on Instagram at English underscore prep class and on Facebook at English prep class. Remember to subscribe to my website, www.englishprepclass.com.au and it's free at this point. And keep checking up on my channel, keep watching my videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.